Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2022 Kia EV6 and its 14 speaker Meridian audio system. This is going to be an in depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a quick look at audio adjustments, audio inputs, controls, speaker locations, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Then we're going to head out in the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. I've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. Before we get started, hop out and take a look at the car. An entirely new model for Kia, all electric as well, the EV6. This thing really turned some heads. It's very different looking, very unique, and it's been really great to drive as well. We've been spending time out here in the beautiful, hilly, middle California road, central California, I suppose. Perfect place to be throwing this car around. So if you do want to see more on the EV6, check the links in the description. We've got a first drive, kind of first impressions review. We'll be doing a winding road drive as well. And once we get the car back at DMHQ, we'll be doing a range test. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Pretty standard fare Kia infotainment system here. Got this big old touch screen as well as a big gauge cluster screen. We are on media right now. Let's go up here and then down to sound settings. Pretty responsive. You start off with a premium sound screen. Meridian does have some of their own adjustments in here. You start off with Meridian Horizon. And what this kind of does is it, it toggles between authentic, surround, and custom, kind of changing the sound stage, if you will. So some cars might just call this surround and maybe standard or pure or something like that. Authentic says natural representation with clear and accurate sound in front of the listeners. So it's just that, you're getting a, a not super artificial sound with a lot of the sound stage placed in front of you. Surround is dynamic representation with enhanced ambiance and envelopment. You'll notice when we turn that on, the sound sounds like it's coming from more around us and behind us. And then custom is user defined sound stage with personalized immersion. We'll go through that in a moment. subtle in this case, but you can hear a change, especially for some other sorts of songs by going to surround. But let's go to custom now and go through some of those. You've got imaging and immersion. Let's do imaging first. With imaging on, you hear a lot more coming from that center speaker. It's much more hollow sounding. And then with it off, you get much more of the side mid range. I'm actually going to restart that track. Maybe. There we go. Because I want to I want to keep listening to the same sounds. Let's actually skip forward a little bit here. There we go. So that was a, a imaging. Let's do immersion. Just a little bit more of a surround aspect. So imaging puts the sound up here and kind of above you as well. It's really cool. I also really appreciate that Meridian and Kia give you such control over how you can customize those sounds. I've been doing most of my listening in authentic, but sometimes I go back to custom. It does seem a little bit more pure than even the authentic setting. Then you have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. For tone, treble, mid-range, and bass, let's go through those. run these tests with a flat EQ because that's how the sound engineers intended the system to sound best. But I will say I'm not a big fan of that tuning. I found myself having to drop mid-range down a few, bass up a few, and treble up one 
to kind of get that set up for my ideal setup. And then other than that, you just have some adjustments for different uh, guidance volume and everything. And then this active sound design, which is kind of cool. This being an electric vehicle, it doesn't really make any natural noise, but you can use this setting to kind of put in some of the car's own custom fake noise. And if you want to see more on that, check the link in the description, but it is pretty cool. Okay, for sound controls, you have this nice volume knob here. You can't quite see it when you're sitting behind the wheel, but once you know where it is, it's good to use. Keep in mind though, this also functions as a heat control if you press this button. Now all of a sudden I'm on climate and it adjusts how hot or cold the air is. So you have to press back to that to get your volume knob, but at least Kia kept the knob. And you also have a rocker on the right side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you have these seek and track buttons. Again, if you're on the screen, if you press that, you're on climate, they go away and this rotary knob for changing through tracks, and then you've got your left side of the steering wheel, and if you're on the media screen, you have this button. For audio inputs in the new EV6, you have your standard AM, FM, actually, let's make sure we have AM radio. Yep, you got AM radio, so AF, AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, I swear. Haven't been drinking yet today, it's just a lot in my mouth, I guess. Then you've got USB A, no USB C, that one down there is for power only, so only USB A for data. Bluetooth, wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, and that is it. What does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no sort of Spotify streaming or anything like that. There's no USB Type-C, as I mentioned, and no wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So a little low on inputs here in the Kia EV6. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 14 speaker system. A lot of speakers in here. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a door woofer, mid-range up there, treble tweeter right here, so it's three, center speaker four, five, six, seven. Come around to the back. Come on. There are. Then you have eight woofer, nine tweeter, 10, 11. Open up the trunk. Got a subwoofer in here making 12, and then two speakers up here on the D pillar sort of hiding. Oh no, they're actually right here, way in the back. That's making 12, 13, 14 all back here. I wonder subwoofer must be hiding under there somewhere. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Let's start out with Android Auto. Now, since there is only one data port for USB, I am going to have to stop the music, take out my USB stick, plug in my Android Auto device. And there you go, Android Auto. Looks like we're not getting the widescreen set up, unfortunately. This is just dead space on the right side of the screen. And I don't have any signal on my Android phone, so we're not going to see the map. But that's Google Maps. There's YouTube Music, also with nothing in it. <laughs> and not, not a very high resolution on here. It's pretty low resolution Android Auto, but it does seem pretty responsive. And there's your settings screen. Also, I'll note that I accidentally turned the passenger's cooled seat on often by these touch buttons up here. Okay, let's plug in Apple CarPlay. There we go, CarPlay's taken up the entire screen. Very widescreen setup. We can go over here and see our Apple Music. There's Google Maps. Wow, look how good that looks. The resolution's still a little bit low, but other than that, refresh is good and it looks nice taking up this whole space. There's your settings screen and there's your home screen, apps and such. All right, let's get the music going again, get this stuff put away and get out on the road.
was pretty darn happy with this system. But what kind of happened after using it more and more is I noticed that the, the mid ranges, the upper mids, sorry, this system takes a little getting used to. The upper mid ranges come through muddy into my ears. There's something about those mid-range speakers, I don't know if it's a placement or the tuning or what, it doesn't create just nice, peaceful, good sounding sounds out of it. It's, it's muddled and it's too harsh. It, it sounds messy. And it makes it so I need to turn music down. I can tell when a, a system isn't fantastic, when uh, an exciting part comes on to one of my songs and I don't want to turn it up, I want to turn it down because it's hurting my ears. Not a great sign. A little disappointing in that. So this next one, we'll turn the bass all the way up and see how it handles the low end stuff. be a very large subwoofer because I'm really not getting much shakage or thumpage. It's a lot coming through these door woofers, so that's a little disappointing and I, I found that in most of my testing as well. Not, no, no big rumbly bass. my thoughts on the 14 speaker Meridian audio system here in the Kia EV6. It has really good imaging. I really like how Meridian and Kia have placed the speakers and created the varying surround effects. It, it's, it's a well portioned, uh, well placed sound system. My issues just come in the tuning, especially that, that mid-range tuning. In fact, it's not even just the mid-range, it's, it's, it's all of it, because the tweeters should be pumping out more of a crisp high sound. You're not getting any of that really high-end satisfying crisps. The, the lows are overall pretty good. Yeah, it can't really pump out that deep rumbly bass, but it does well with general mid-range bass we heard in the beginning of that uh, guitar song that kind of comes in with the lower bass guitar. But it's the mid-ranges that lose it for me, and, and that's where the meat and potatoes is of most music, especially more complex songs. And, this kind of falls on its face for that. So I, I've been toying between a, a, a C and a B. I think it, it probably needs to go with a B rating. 
it does sound better than your just your average system, but I was expecting more, so I, I'm I'm uh, I'm a little I'm a little bummed because initially it was like, oh, this is a really well done out audio system, and that ended up just not quite being the case. Hopefully, Meridian and Kia continue to grow and and improve their systems, but it's gonna be a B for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the EV6, check the links in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.